Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collections class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Chunk. Chunk is a very useful Laravel Collection method that allows you to chunk parts of a collection into evenly sized pieces. Let's add a data variable, and for now, let's put some numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now let's collect that array of data and simply call chunk on it. Now chunk does require an integer, let's just say 4, and let's take a look at the results. As you can see, chunk returns a collection with other collections inside. That's a very important thing about chunk. It does not return an integer or a string or anything like that, but it actually returns another collection. So that's one nice feature about chunk is that you can daisy chain other calls to other collection methods right after chunk. And to prove that, I'm gonna call another method here. I'm just gonna call first. And let's check out the results. So it simply returns the first of the collections. So that's one nice thing. We can keep daisy chaining as many other methods as we want. So we have a collection and it returns two items. This is the first one and here's the second one. One really useful life example that we can use this in is in views. Imagine that you had eight models coming from your database and you wanted to fit four of them to a row. So we wanted the first four in the first row and the second set of fours in the second row. Well, this will help you accomplish that. Now, one thing to note about this is that if we put a number such as three and there aren't enough items, that last collection will be short. So we have our first collection has three items. Our second collection has three items. And the third collection, as you can see, we ran out of items. So it actually only has two items. So this has the potential to run you into a bit of trouble when you're using views because you may be expecting to get that third item, but you don't. So you end up with only two entries in that very last collection. So keep that in mind about chunk. One final note about the chunk method. There is an opposite method. If you wanted to actually combine a chunked collection, you would use collapse. So check out the video on collapse for the opposite of chunk. 